we're less than two months out from the final release of Android 12, and that means it's time for a new beta build to arrive on Pixel devices. Android 12 Beta 3 represents an important milestone in getting the new version ready for developers, while also adding handy new features that have been rumoured for the past several months. Take a sec to subscribe to Android Central and we'll jump into what's new in Android 12 Beta 3. In this build, we're seeing Android 12's new Material U design language come into sharper focus. The new colour scheme, which is built around pulling complementary colours from your wallpaper, has been built out some more in the Wallpaper and Styles menu, giving you a choice of colours that Google thinks will work alongside your choice of backdrop. Or if you prefer, you can still use one of the basic accent colours from before. Things are still a little bit buggy here though on the Pixel 5, especially when it comes to repositioning your wallpaper, but clearly we are getting a lot closer to the finished Android 12 look and feel. The themed icons feature, which we first saw way back in these leaked mock-up images, are finally a reality in Android 12 Beta 3. It replaces icons in supporting apps, mainly Google Apps right now, with a two-tone version including colours from your wallpaper. Unfortunately, one thing we're not seeing in this build is the option to change the icon shape. With this being a work-in-progress build though, it's likely they'll reappear before Android 12 is finalised. There are also a bunch of new small animation tweaks to make Android 12 feel more polished in this version. The quick settings draw animation has been tuned up a little bit. And these power on, power off and wake flourishes that we first saw in Beta 2 are slicker and less buggy in this new build. And on devices like the Pixel 5, you'll notice an unlock animation radiating out from the location of the fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone. If you're setting up a Pixel from scratch now, there's a new Material U-ish looking setup wizard that'll walk you through the process. And interestingly, once you get to the end of that setup process, the default theme choice is actually dark mode. So it's possible we could see dark mode becoming much more prominent in the Pixel 6 series when it arrives. Something else that might be useful on a Pixel 6 without that rear fingerprint scanner is the option to tie the swipe down gesture normally reserved for one-handed mode to bring down the notification shade instead, which can be found right here in the gesture menu in Beta 3. The slightly controversial internet menu that was added in Beta 2 is still around in this build, though it's now easier to turn Wi-Fi off directly from the pop-up that appears without having to drill down into yet another menu. Battery stats have been given a mini overhaul in this latest beta, finally actually displaying useful granular data right at the forefront of the battery settings menu. Additionally, it's now much easier to manage whether or not apps are performance optimized or battery optimized. It's very clear to see the option right here and that's something a lot of other phone makers could benefit from. There are several other minor UI changes in this build, like a slightly larger search bar, a slightly tweaked folder bubble that actually shows the app icons peeking out from inside it and no more coloured icons in the settings app right now for whatever reason. Plus there's this slightly bugged out search bar in the app drawer which hopefully will be fixed pretty soon. And for developers, there are new APIs to let apps know where the new privacy indicators are for camera and location, to make sure apps can play nicely with them. Noisy menu tap effect from older builds has mostly been retired here, with the effect being much less prominent in Beta 3 compared to earlier builds. It's been a long time coming, but scrolling screenshot support has finally arrived in this latest beta build of Android 12, and it's actually a lot quicker and more accurate than the scroll shot feature in a lot of current Android phones. Tapping Capture More instantly pulls up a long stretch of whichever app you're in, and then you can crop down to whatever size you need. From there, of course, you can edit or share your scroll shot just like you can with a regular screenshot. A dedicated gaming mode has long been rumoured for Android 12, and now we more or less have it. Most of the new gaming dashboard is still behind the scenes in Beta 3, but for now nothing actually happens when you launch it in a game. In any case, the new gaming APIs will also allow developers to gain better performance out of phones, help save battery life with a few new tricks, and just make mobile gaming a lot less of a hassle. Also related to gaming, Play As You Download is another huge feature for Android 12, letting you start playing while the title is still downloading in the background. Pretty impressive to see an action here on Beta 3 and should be especially welcome if you're downloading on cellular data or you just don't have the fastest Wi-Fi. Smarter screen rotation is also coming to Android 12 using your front facing camera to detect the angle of your face. Again, this is another feature that some manufacturers have had for ages. Samsung, for example, was doing something very similar back in 2013 and it isn't quite as accurate as, for example, the same feature on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, but it did work reliably on my Pixel 5, stopping the phone from rotating when I was lying down. Android 12 Beta 3 also marks the final set of APIs being introduced for developers, meaning we're not likely to see any big new features added in Beta 4 when it arrives in August. That next release should mainly be about squashing bugs and providing more solid experience overall, 
A very good thing considering this version of Android still contains a few more bugs than we'd normally expect to see at this stage. Anyway, be sure to hit the comments, let us know what you think of Android 12 so far, as well as what you're hoping to see in the final beta release next month. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.